in the dream yoga teachings, it talks about, like, for example, if you are dreaming uh, water, then, and you're, you're dreaming of water, that water is uh, like a river or something like that, it's trying to uh, drain you, I say, uh, what do you call it? Huh? You, you, take, you take, take you away, and you say, this is a dream, I can become a water. I can become multiple river. I can become a waterfall. I can become a nectar. I can become a medicine. I can help others. So everybody who drinks you, they heal. So you became, from your relation to the element, from where you are threatened by element, where, where you became one with the element, where you enriched by yourself by element, you, where you are sharing your in what, whatever you have enriched, whatever you have gained from the qualities of element in order to help others. So these uh, steps of transformation just took place right in your dream. Same thing like a fire. You're dreaming of fire, you, you have a dream of fire, maybe fire house is burning or house is going to burn, you transform into fire, you multiple fire, the fire can never be burned by fire. The fire can be never destroyed by fire. And the fire or purpose of the fire is to ripen things. So your role now, not only you overcome fear of fire, you became fire, now your role is ripening everything in the universe for, for fruition, benefiting the nature, environment, food, people, everything. Just look at the same way with each of element. Whatever element is obstacle, you look them as something that you can become it, you can benefit, enrich yourself from it, and benefit other from it. So how do you do that? Of course, obviously, you know, uh, most of, probably, hopefully most of you are familiar with the, the book, uh, the Tibetan Yoga of Dream and Sleep. So in the book, I talk about the four specific exercises. The exercises to have a lucid dream. So a lucid dream means in dream, to have, to be aware of dream as a dream. And the only reason to be aware of dream as a dream is so that you have a flexibility. You have a, first of all, you have a freedom of threat. Second, you have flexibility. And through flexibility, you enrich yourself. By enriching yourself, you are able to help others. 